Okay, let's see. So now we have that activation function and we were taking the derivative of the pre-activation, oh sorry, of the activation with respect to pre-activation and I just push this under the rug by saying, okay, we'll write it as g dash, right? So I need to show you what g dash is, okay? Uh, what, how to compute g dash? So this is, suppose g is a logistic function, okay? So that means, what is z actually? It's one of those a's, right? So this is the activation that you're going to feed it, right? And then you're taking the element wise, uh, sorry, uh, z is actually the pre-activation that you feed it and then g is the activation function, so it'll do element wise activation function. Now what's the derivative of this? Okay, so I'll just, I'll not do this derivation, it's there and you end up with a very neat formula which is g of z into 1 minus g of z. Okay, so now that bit is also taken care of. Is there any more spoon feeding that I can do? Okay, you're ready for the assignment now? Okay, I'll do one more bit. You will also have to use the tan h function. Okay, so this is the derivative of the tan h function. It again boils down to a very neat formula which is 1 minus g of z the whole square. Okay. So we'll uh, end this lecture.